This year's first parliamentary group meeting of the ruling party Jubilee would see a tough talking party leader how to whip his members into towing the line. On his radar, the absence of the now so-called rebel Jubilee MPs who, for the second time in a row, skipped the meeting held at the House on the Hill. Parliamentary group meetings are not optional. They are mandatory. Because it is through these kind of uh, 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 sessions where we come together on critical matters that concern Jubilee as a party. When we meet like the way we do, we are discharging not just party matters, we are also discharging constitutional issues. But there were other members absent as well, and this forcing the president to read the riot act to the legislators, warning them that the party meetings were a must attend. That transformation is not going to happen by us working separately. It's going to happen by us working together. And I am really looking forward, starting with this preliminary meeting of the year, this first meeting of the year, that we will be meeting regularly. And also to deliberate on various issues that affect and concern our people. And therefore, each one of us must take the PG with the seriousness it deserves. When we call a PG, it is important for all of us to come so that we can prosecute whatever matters that are before us. The meeting coming hours before the August House resumed a business from recess, the legislative agenda key on the president's list in ensuring that the Big Four agenda received the necessary legislative support. The Minister for Finance is supposed to table the budget policy statement. In fact, it's in the Constitution. We have a number of very key uh, uh, bills. I'm sure most committees are aware. The roads bill, the energy bill, the petroleum levy, land index, at the end of the meeting, the consensus being to support a government legislation going forward, as well as the report of the Appointments Committee on Cabinet nominees. Jackie Maribe for the big question.